wish you wouldn't shout, Mr. President. The door keeps blowing open. Yes, but there's an intercom and you could use it to call me at my desk. I was... You don't know how to use the intercom. It's not that I don't know how to use it, it's just that I haven't learned yet. I have MS and I didn't tell anybody. Yeah. So you're having a little bit of a day. You're gonna make jokes? Guy doesn't make cars crash and you know it. Stop using me as an excuse. Party's not gonna want me to run. Party will come back. He'll get him back. I got a secret for you, Mrs. Lanningham. I've never been the most popular guy in the Democratic Party. I've got a secret for you, Mr. President. Your father was a prick who could never get over the fact that he wasn't as smart as his brothers. Are you in a tough spot? Yes. Do I feel sorry for you? I do not. Why? Because there are people way worse off than you. Give me numbers. I don't know numbers. You give them to me. How about a child born in this minute has a one in five chance of being born into poverty? How many Americans don't have health insurance? 44 million. What's the number one cause of death for black men under 35? Homicide. How many Americans are behind bars? Three million. How many Americans are drug addicts? Five million. And one in five kids in poverty? That's 13 million American children. Three and a half million kids go to schools that are literally falling apart. We need 127 billion in school construction. We need it today. To say nothing of 53 people trapped in an embassy. Yes. You know, if you don't want to run again, I respect that. But if you don't run because you think it's going to be too hard or you think you're going to lose, well, God, Jed, I don't even want to know you. It's time.